Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be taking a closer look at the Crackle Box from Racket. So I'd heard of Racket in the UK. Um, I'll put their website on the screen if you want to check it out, but they sell a bunch of little DIY kits. And you know I love DIY, so I purchased this kit. And I did a time-lapse video of me building it. I'll go ahead and put that on the screen for you. But um, the kit was very well organized, very well laid out. The instructions are on their website, so you can follow along. And uh, it's really quite simple. Um, this is an interesting build because it's all analog and there is no ICs, no microcontroller, no anything like that. There's just a bunch of transistors. So what you do is you put in your capacitors and uh, then your resistors and then there's a whole bunch of transistors and that's how you uh, basically put the circuit together. And uh, one thing I wanted to note here, if I hold this up, you can see I did not get the transistors very straight. But if you look at them this way, here, let me do it this. They're pretty straight this way. Um, but the reason was is because when I soldered those, I sort of set them all in there and I put my finger like this and then soldered and I was holding them in place this way, but not, you know, side to side. So they look kind of funny when you look at them like this, but that's okay. I mean, it still works perfectly fine. Um, but if I was to do it again, I would probably use a piece of tape or something to hold those in place so they'd look a little nicer. But anyway, you solder all that in place and then it's got this little speaker on the bottom, which as you can probably guess, does not sound all that great. Um, but it does allow you to hear it if you don't have it plugged in, but then it's got an output jack here, uh, eighth inch mono that you can plug into a sound source. It um, has, has a power in jack here and it comes with a little dongle like this for a, a nine volt battery. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's got a little power switch here and then your LED to tell you if it's on or off. Very simple circuit. And if you're not familiar with a crackle box, it's something where when you touch different um, metal plates, you get sort of different sounds that uses your body as a circuit effectively. So instead of me keeping talking about the build, let's go ahead and uh, hear what it sounds like. Okay, so here we go. We've got the disintegrated crackle box and then you see the Boss RV6 over here. I'm gonna pull that in just a little later. But for starters here, you're gonna hear the direct signal going into the mixer so you should have nice strong audio. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And if I just touch something, you don't really hear anything. That's because it basically uses your body as to complete the circuit. So if I just touch this, I'm not completing a circuit. But if I touch a couple things, you start to hear noises. And you can do it one-handed too. But I think it works a little better with two. So that's the basics of what it does. You just complete the circuit using your skin and you get all kinds of unpredictable sound effects. So I thought it might be kind of cool to feed it through a reverb pedal here and see what kind of effects we can get out of it. So we've got a bunch of different uh, modes here. Let's try um, delay verb mode. I'm gonna go ahead and kick that on. So 
So there you have it, folks. That was the disintegrated crackle box from Racket in the UK. I mean, honestly, ease of build and documentation, I would definitely score this very high. Um, really fun little build, really well designed. Is it that musically useful? I don't know, it depends on what you're doing. If you like glitch and sound effects, it's gonna be very useful to you. If you're trying to make like melodies, then it's probably not what you're looking for. But uh, that said, it's a really fun kit. It goes together very quickly. Um, it's great for a beginner. So if you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you'd give it a thumbs up for me. And if you like what I do on this channel, that'd be great if you could hit that subscribe button. Really helps out the channel. So um, thank you for tuning in. This is Kale for Musical Miscellany. I'll see you guys soon.